Okay, everyone, this is my Soap Saver crocheted um, soaps for the round one for my girlfriend Shari and the square one for our dog Onyx um, because we've been giving him, we've been bathing him and sometimes the soap like disappears or we forget where it is and once we use it, it's quick to be used and I used this already once on him as you can see, it's already been used and the soap is, the soap is actually the same size as once we started. Yeah, right now it's kind of stuck in there right now. <laughs> that is one thing about the soap saver. Um, the soap in there so the fabric will stick to the soap. And, you know, you might as well not even try to take the soap back out. This one, on the other hand, I've just finished just now. And I sure would like to take that out. Um, I'm really proud of this one because this is my second one. I did a little bit of mistakes, but as time goes on, as you can see, I did it a little tighter than what it should have been. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, that is, it is with the, the moss stitch here and then here I did it. I forgot to double crochet on the second Part, so it is tighter. That's why it's so hard to get this soap back in back in and take it out, but It's really helpful and you know with the different colors like this is gonna be the green for my dog This is gonna be pink for Shari anyone else who wants one and have a different color So they all know which one is theirs. We have multiple soaps too. We have one for Regular showering we have one that's light in the skin. We have one that moisturizes so with those different types of soap and stuff like that, we'll do different fabric uh, colors, I should say. So this is my, this would be my second one that's actually that I started and finished because I did a crochet heart from before. If you look at my YouTube channel, you'll see that I've um, done a little crochet heart that was by Crochet Geek, and I went online and saw this soap loafa by another. Um, crocheter thank you for posting, posting out that video so that I would know how to do this because I didn't know how and going online and trying to find the instructions some people use like complicated abbreviations it's hard to um, follow their instructions so it's better to like show someone on video so I'm happy that I found it and she has really good instructions I put her link onto the uh, in the description down below so on to my next project, which I don't know at the moment, but I will uh, post up a video about it, you know, once I find out what I'm going to do. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.